going to hit Texas A&M. It is being rumored that they are in talks with Ole Miss defensive coordinator DJ Durkin. Now, I was I was a little bit shocked by this uh, because the Ole Miss numbers have been not great this season, but that defense is over. They have played well above expectations, right? They don't have a ton of talent on that side of the ball. So but is this that was, coaching? This was very much a bend don't break defense, and they I, they played really well this season. I thought for the most part, you uh, you kind of agree here? I, I, well, just, I don't just agree. Right? Jesus Christ, that's like the most improved thing in all of college football is Ole Miss defense from yes. last year to the end of the year this year. It, it, they have you. They don't even not even recognizable. Not even recognizable. Okay. DJ Durkin is a defensive great, great coach. An unbelievable defensive coach. And if I had a DC open, opening open, I'd love to have DJ Durkin. I'd, I'd do anything to have DJ Durkin. So he was, uh, he was the defensive coordinator at Florida in 2013-2014 under, I believe, Will Muschamp at that point. Uh, 2015, he was the Michigan defensive coordinator. He got the Maryland head coaching job. Everybody remembers exactly what happened there. Uh, then he was a consultant for the Atlanta Falcons, and he has been at Ole Miss for the last two years. And, yeah, you're right. They uh, they greatly improved this past season. Uh, I think they're talking about moving up one of the other coaches to be a co-DC. Uh, but Durkin also... Widely known for his recruiting ability, even with the mess that went on at Maryland, he's a good recruiter. And I think that's, that's what A&M every needs. parent in the world understands what happened at Maryland. Yeah. It's, it's only people that don't want to see reason because, and I get it, I get it, a child is dead, right? I, I don't know how to rationalize that, right? That's, that's the single worst thing you could possibly imagine. But at, it, it, at the end of the day, we have hashed this out a million times before. All of these coaches are just five minutes away from being PE teachers. They're not doctors. He had nothing to do with the cause of medical treatment on that field. You got that right. You got that right.